this point? Yes, sir. From uh, starting over here? So, so. So, <coughs> so first they start stopping the, doing the small protest, like stopping the trains for a few days. So it became a big news in media. So people know what's happening around, so everyone gets their attention. So people were curious about what's happening around. Then the people get start uniting and they told them really what happening and they, it may cost them their land, their way of life. So it was very big thing for people in Punjab. Address in Punjab, it's very like we are very attached, our culture is very attached to the farming, it's mainly the farming bread, bread basket of India. So they were very much connected with the land and then if the country is going to raise eye on their land, they're going to fight. That was true. So, United was very natural, it's gonna raise any eyes to their land, they're gonna fight. So they kind of leaders play good roles, they educate the people, they know that. And there was a big NRIs, Punjabi NRIs. They also knew they are very educated. NRIs very educated, they let them know okay, this, this is gonna happen. And Indian intellectual class also joined, they explain the people what exactly this farm loss means. And the people really understand and there's a small slogan going on. So when they started, first they you know, did the protest for two months in Punjab, in the Punjab-Haryana border. People start coming there, they are uniting together, more people are coming, there was a big wives are there, more people are connected, when they know they have enough people. And what they did, very smart thing, to unite the Haryana with Punjab, they connected with the Punjab leaders. Instead of letting know everyone people, they connected with the leaders and leaders informed their people. You know, there's a most the Jat community came in, other community came in, but mostly the Jat because they managed to send a message to the Jat leaders and they are also very farming community. They were very natural line. So instead of fighting to themselves, they together the people. If you see the history of Punjab Haryana, they always been fighting. There's a water dispute, there's a lot of dispute. But there was a common enemy because lands were going from both sides. So that's why they united their natural lines. Then they break the barricade and end up here. Uh, in New Delhi. Uh, there was no planning was there. They wanted to go to Delhi because Delhi is the center of the protest. So, because it's a Delhi, if any protest happened, it happened in Delhi. So they united, they took their tractors and they were had planned wherever police will stop us. We will stop there. Small barricade, we will take it and go out. To. So when they end up here, it was the night. Police stop us on the Delhi border. And some people were saying we will go forward in the Delhi or near the parliament or some protest site in Delhi. But some leaders were saying, okay, we will stop here. We can block the road. And Delhi don't have that much place to be host that many people. So that's why they stopped there. So how the infrastructures came here, how the people building these beautiful uh, small huts, these toilets and uh, these langars. So langar is very natural in Punjabi culture because in Sikh Gurdwara they are 24 hours they serve the food and langar are very connected with the people. So they came with along with the people but they were doing the same thing in border in Punjab for two months. So they have to become here. But if the, then the big organization also united with us. So that's how langar started. There was a lot of independent people who really care about the people because when the people came, I know one of my friends who came here, he see, there were not toilet enough, like one or two were toilets and women's having a very bad trouble. He came with his wife and uh, she saw, she having a trouble and then he, okay, I will do something for it, at least I will build a one toilet. <laughs> he started with a one and then uh, when he built a put a photo, so many people get excited, they come, oh, we will help you, let's go and then some people came along, then they start building. And they end up building like more than 1300 toilets. There were some unions, there were lunkers, they keep building slowly. It was initially, it was just a tent. And then the rain came, winter came, people oh man. Then they start building this bamboo. This was the cheapest option. They use, some people use the, this teen and all. Those were expensive options, but naturally the price come down with the bamboo huts. So they each have bamboo cost like 10,000. Uh, for a, uh, they usually one hut is belong to one or two villages. So people get together some money, 100, 200 for each family, and they build a one kind of place for themselves in a single border. Five, ten people. That's a ratio. Like Punjab have 13,000 villages. So each village comes one person. There are 13,000. So two people, two villages come together, and they used to send five or ten people every two week or one week. 
So that's how the is gathering was there. It was not a like one person responsibility. It was the whole people. Everyone were here. They were sending their people. Every two weeks they used to change it. And there was a system. It was fight for everyone. So they built a system. If you don't want to go, you have to be to pay some something to be sent other people. It's everyone for responsibility. So that's why they never stopped the circle. Initially there were a lot of people, but sometimes there are slow times. That time, those people who had the duties or who had to come here, they hold the protest. It's not like only the motivated people come. You have to be need some organization to hold this kind of protest. It's not like a single one can hold this. You get motivated, you get hyped, you see that, and you fight for week, two week, month. But then after you get little down and you go, you have some initial work. So protest need to be continued. So that's why they build a system. Every two villages together, they send a one vehicle. Five people come here and are those, and that vehicle take five people back. It was a independent kind of collaborative thing. <coughs> so then, how the who were financing this? So I know about the big load of uh, there was the big people, rich people who were giving a lot of money. But there was a background is every acre of land has. 100 rupees or 200 rupees, it depends upon the which district apply what kind of rules. Some places which already have a lot of money, they charge only 100 rupees per acre. So each farmer have to pay 100 rupees and they get together some money and then they spend it from that bucket. But when they finish, they collect again. I know there's a three time, four time gathering happened, but it was more than enough. Maybe there were a lot of big people who gave, okay, take 10,000 from me, take 20,000 from me, you should keep fighting. So those were a lot of people, so it didn't happen too much gathering. I, two, three times, they collected money from the farmers. After that, it was more than enough for them. So, how the leader play a participated in, and uh, what should we do uh, to make a better one? First, first point of all this protest is there was not one single leader. Earlier there used to be one center point of power and government used to bribe him or scared him because of some fake cases and all and used to, to be break down the protest. That happened with the Jat and Dolan, that happened with the Bargadi Khan. There's a lot of Andolan which get failed after one or month or two months. This time we have 30 leaders from Punjab, 32, 8 from Haryana and 500 all together. So it was not easy to buy all of them. And you know, they can buy 10 or 20, then there is there was one honest leader. He will say, Oh, they get sold. So he will, and people will go after them. So that's why they couldn't do that. I know leaders, there's a leader, you, we don't trust it blindly. So there was a many leaders, that's why they're not able to buy them. That's why they're not able to scale them. What is the bad point of the leaders? Uh, they were, this protest was very big, I believe, and leader was not up to that mark. I think so. They were very narrow-minded. They can make a big movement, big changes, but they were only up to their like, okay, we need this point, big together, because they were related to totally farming issues, and they really focus on their point, and they have one old way of doing working. You, you, you united with me, I will do your work only. They're not able to unite all the people. They were independent people, but they were giving preference to their own people who were fighting with them for 30 years. Of course, that was natural. So, we lack it like independent people who really doing a lot of struggle. They didn't get much space here. And uh, youth, youth were very excited. They were doing a lot, but they are not able to bring a lot of youth out of it. They were like against the youth. Youth, very lot of youth were united in the starting. But uh, you see, after that, they don't give space on the stage. They didn't give them much responsibility. Because with the youth, they used to think uh, they too violent, they may break the protest. They were not trusting them. And the youth left in the starting itself. Only the lot of old people, some youth, like I was here for two, uh, like 12 months, but there were a lot of youth who were doing a lot of things. And they were a little excited too. And that may be the cause of issue. But it was a good time to be raise the new generation how to teach them the leadership and all, but we not able to do that. Our leaders not able to do that. There's few youth, so a lot of youth left. And uh, yes, so that was a, we should take care of youth because that's they gonna, that's what they gonna continue. They, every, no, old farm leader would not be here for all the time. So, what more thing, uh, we were like uh, in India, I think, 
which was the very weak point of us in India or in Punjab or Haryana. We give a celebrity status to our leaders. Like whenever the leaders came, so we offer them, okay, have some days, have some days, we take selfies. Okay, that's natural. But we give them so much respect, they think they are the hero. Like if I believe, if I'm here for farming cause, I don't need good food. I eat whatever the other people are eating. I need a special care. I'm here, the leaders uh, give their life for the, their cause. They're not here up to food or anything. So I think we need to be go a little down on the giving too much respect to the leaders. We should be like real to them, ask questions, they should be answer our questions. Like a foreign country in, in Canada, in US, the leaders come and they shake hand with the people and they're very normal. We give so much treasure, it's like it's from our history of slavery because we were slaves by the British and we used to go serve them. That's what we are doing right now. I think if the good leaders are there, they will do. They give their life. They don't care about what you give them food or something like that. They will eat normal or something like that. So it shouldn't be, we should be taking care of life. We should give them respect. We should. Their power is people unite with them. That's their power. That's all they want. Good leader. If you give them too much serving, I think then the bad leaders will come who looking after for, okay, people talk to me, people do me. They're not really after the cause. So that should be, we need to improve. And if about talk about the youth, what they really learn here, and what should we like i i came here i was in goa i was working from goa i was a software engineer i'm from farming family uh, pretty much was doing the farming till i got graduated and doing it and but i was very much connected so i came here okay I, this is my duty to give one week at least of my life here to because i stand for the course so i came here to give for one week and then i see it's a pretty good thing here and uh, I took more responsibility and I end up spending one year here instead of going my friends were in mountains or in Goa, but I was here. And from my life experience, what I learn here, this bad time teach you a lot. These times, this is the time to learn, this is time of action. You should never avoid it. You maybe don't like it, but it teach you a lot, it gives you life pretty beautiful after it. You learn, you connect with the people, you are in real problems, so a lot of bullshit which in your mind goes out. Because you are in action, no bullshit stand here. So if you always be in action, not only think about the things. You should do action, lot of things get clear, and you are become more real, or more practical. So these kind of protests happen once in a lifetime. You should participate in them. So I think the youth, whoever really want to do something for the country, for themselves, for their community, they should participate in these actions, not just build up these old. I know a lot of friends of mine who were just saying this, doing that, and they never came here for a single day. I was saying that you are the real bad example of this. I think we have this kind of pseudo-liberal class in India. I get disappointed with a lot of people. Those were my heroes. Those used to say big things. Their things used to make sense, but they never came here. I think these kind of people are the government agents. They are built to suppress the voice of the youth because they're taking the space which should be taken by some real person. They're saying big things, not doing anything. So kind of not letting the real people to do things. They consume that space. It was built by Congress, I think. Uh, those kind of pseudo liberal class, they talk big, they saying this and that thing, and the real leader never came back because they occupied that space. And you think this is the real model because there is a, some class of people which stand for right, which stand for thing. And if you don't manage them, this is a pseudo liberal our way to manage them. So I think we need to be aware of people who are not doing the action. We shouldn't go after. Them. So this is the illusion which is created by the media, government. We should be take care, aware of them. And uh, how this protest will continue after what I think now the very big bin deed laws has been taken back. MSP getting the guarantee and they making a committee. Let's see. The reason people are leaving now is one year people are tired. I am tired too, to be frank. Uh, we had a big win. 
of three laws. I think people need a rest. I think six months, maybe they take it rest of one year. And if they didn't do anything action on MSP, we will stand together. But we need to be aware of our country because Punjab and Haryana have this MSP and they will get it, of course, for sure. But whole India needs this MSP. We need to be aware of the people more. We need to take rest of all the like people who are doing serving home one year. They are really tired. I think they need a break. And after that, they start with a new energy, new people. They wear more people. I think that way, the, because it's a big fight for MSP is big. So we need to be bigger platform for that. So that's what we believe we are doing right now. So I think in few days we will leave this place. We started this library here. We try to educate the people. I am like I read books. I know a lot of stuff, but a lot of people real problem with this, you know, working class. They are workers. They are like we call not likhari kameri. Kameri is like working class, though they are not like who write the history do that, and they always be exploited. They need to be educated, they need to be learned, they need to know about their history. Then only they will make history, otherwise they will be exploited by this person, that person, that is the history. So that's why we are trying to educate the people. We started this library, I gifted so many books. 